It's the book of Sirach, chapter 33. And verse 10. And all men are from the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. In much knowledge the Lord hath divided them, and made their ways diverse. And before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory as always unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. These be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you have been given the Spirit to receive that knowledge or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone who taught me this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, beginning with the 140 and 4,000 prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect of the nation of Israel, man. Prophesied to come out of this world in this black and brown culture that we've received from the hands of our enemy, the oppressor, and come unto our true heritage, man. Which is, which is the heritage of the princes of the Heavenly Father, man. You see? His kingship, man. As the book of Psalms 82 says, Ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. You see, as we just read, the Heavenly Father separated all things, man. You see? And this goes back to the law, man. This is just how the Heavenly Father is. There's a separation, not only within the class of man, because he chose the Israelites to be those to receive his law and establish it on the planet earth which is exactly what he's coming back to set up as you see through all the prophecies man the will of the heavenly father is to come and set up his kingdom governed by the nation of israel man whom he chose to receive that government just as there's order within the household you see the man woman children there's an order within all things man separation causes things to flourish there's an, uh, 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 an order within the animal kingdom, man. Within the, the, the plant kingdom. You see? All things that the Heavenly Father has created has a separation. In order for life to flourish, man, everything must fulfill its role. And that's exactly what he's coming back to establish, man, is order. You see, Esau has removed the natural order to the planet Earth. For example, pulling out certain uh, uh, unclean meats from the ocean, all these crustaceans that are meant to stay there to cleanse the oceans, and then causing people to eat them, which the Heavenly Father said to refrain from those meats because they're not good meats to eat. Now your body's getting sick, the ocean's getting polluted, Esau's giving you other pills to help with, with, with your sicknesses and ailments, and now you're just all kind of messed up, man. You see? The Heavenly Father requires order, man. Let me go ahead and get an example real quick this is the book of leviticus as i said going back to the law oops lucky leviticus chapter 19 and verse 19 and it reads ye shall keep my statutes thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with diverse kind you see that man meaning that you you can't even be letting these animals get all mixed up there's a separation within all things man you see the horse is meant to carry a human. The donkey is meant to labor. Esau goes and tries to put these together to create the ultimate creature, man. The Heavenly Father already gave us what we needed, man. And this is exactly why Esau is going to get removed, man. Trying to, trying to touch the creation of the Heavenly Father and alter it according to his will, man. This devil. <laughs> this de but just like every other nation, man. All these nations that, that get their time to rule for, for a moment. You see, they don't rule by the Heavenly Father's law. They rule by their own wicked rules and, and, and ways, man. You see? So we are going to be the first kingdom to rule by the Heavenly Father's law and establish it on the entire planet. And you can find this all throughout the scriptures, man. Revelation 21, Tobit 13, uh, Micah the fourth chapter, Daniel the second chapter, Daniel the seventh chapter, Daniel the eighth chapter, the ninth chapter. You see? This is the will of the Heavenly Father, man. This is exactly what's going to be set up. Order. Let me go ahead and finish this off. It says, Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. You see? Then there's a law behind that. You can't just be sowing upon all these different types of mingled seeds, man. You got to separate your seed. Separation, man. 
even the word the word uh, wor world found in John three sixteen going back to cosmos. What does con cosmos mean, man? A harmonious arrangement. You see, man, you have a particular arrangement, a separation, to cause harmony to speak forth, man. The heavenly Father by 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 giving the Israelites Yahweh Shai, by giving the elect Yahweh Shai, it's caused life to be saved, man. By saving Israel, life itself will be delivered. If it wasn't for that, then this devil Esau would continue ruling until he's destroyed the entire planet, man. That's not the Heavenly Father's will. The Heavenly Father's will is to come back and establish an order. And Esau belongs at the very bottom of that order. You've taken the very bottom. You've taken the fucking janitor and put him on top as the CEO of the company. And now you see the condition of the planet Earth. And it's upside down, all manner of life, crying out for salvation, man. Finishing it off, it says... Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. So even <laughs> from everything, man, even to uh, the point of our fabric, our clothing that we wear, there must be a separation, man. And it really, it just makes sense, man. Even your body, your heart doesn't control everything. Even your brain. You see, your brain sends the signals to everything to do what they need to do. But that's your brain's component, man. You see? But you still need the hand. If you just have the brain and you didn't have no hand, then you wouldn't have no hand to do its job, man. That's what we're compared even to the body. A separation even within the church, man. Order, man. That's what the Heavenly Father is coming back to establish. Let's go ahead and jump back now. Book of Sirach. Let's see, where were we? Chapter 33. And, uh... And let's go ahead and jump up a little bit, man. Verse 7. All right, to get another example of further separation. Why doeth one day excel another? When, as all the light of every day is the year of the sun. You see, so the, you have all these different separations of night, day. Man, hey, what's the scripture say? An unjust balance is an abomination to the heavenly father. Cold, hot, up, down. You see, positive and negative, man. Even going back to the to the very uh, uh, molecules, you got you got uh, protons and electrons, man. Positives and negatives. Everything is created of, of of some sort of a separation, man. You can't have everybody in the company as the CEO. That company will fall. You can't have everybody in the company as the 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 janitor. Everybody needs to have their piece, man. You need the security guard. You need the the everybody. You see. And that's what the Heavenly Father is coming to set up. Hey, this is the proper order that I set up, even though those who are bare rulership have went to tamper with that order, man. That's like going and getting a car from the car designer, and even though it says to put, you know, 85 gas in it, you go and start putting diesel in there, man. Oh, you know what? I'm going to throw this, this instruction manual to the side, even though this is the man, who, the people who created the vehicle, and I think this thing will run better off of diesel. Well, now your simple ass just don't broke your vehicle, man. You don't broke the planet Earth and the people within it. And the Heavenly Father is coming back to set up order, man. And so I'd go ahead and continue. It says, verse 10. Oh, it's lucky. Well, verse 9. And some of them... Uh, where, where are we? Oh, come on. Verse 8, it's lucky. By the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished, and he altered seasons and feasts of the Heavenly Father separated all things to flourish according to his will man to cause life to spring forth and really you lean it upon esau thinking that he knows best man he's only in his place because the heavenly father put him there as a result of our sins and wicked deeds but now we're learning our lesson man and the elect are taking heed unto the chastisement and the heavenly father repenting and getting right and just as the law says the wicked child who does not repent and take heed when, when he's chastised, then just let him go, man. Because he ain't worth chastising. He's gone. That's the same with the two-thirds, man. The elect are receiving their chastisement, but the two-thirds are just entertained with the bread and circuses, man. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, jump down. It says, uh, yo. Con. Verse 10. And all manner of the ground, and Adam was created of the earth. And much knowledge the Lord hath divided them and made their ways diverse. So he's made all men different, man. What's Moab's uh, lot? The scriptures say that he is the wash pot. 
hey, the, 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 the pot needs to be washed too, man. The dishes need to be washed too. I know for damn sure that <laughs> when these Israelites return to their godly state, they ain't going to be sitting there washing dishes no longer, man. That's something that we've had to do during our captivity. And now we've learned our lesson, man. And now it's time that you heathens have learned yours for the way that we've been treated according to the prophecies, man. You reap what you've sown, and now you're going to sow, uh, reap everything that you've uh, 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 sown here, man. Everything that you've done to us, is gonna you're going to receive double. That's why Esau, hoo, <laughs> man. Esau has it coming, man. Let's see, it says, um, Some of them hath he blessed and exalted, and some of them hath he sanctified. You see, some of them hath he made his own, man. You can precept this with Romans 9, uh, uh, Sirach 19 and 19. It's like uh, 17 and 17. But going on, it says, And set them... You can re precept throughout the whole scriptures, man. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Anyway, going on, it says, Some of them they blessed and exalted and sanctified and set near himself, but some of them hath he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hand of him that made him so hey the heavenly father created esau and gave him the sword as his blessing and created he, every every story needs an oppressor every story needs a villain man esau was created to be that villain just as pharaoh in his time was created to be that villain did not the scripture say the most high hardened his heart so he couldn't repent this devil esau is fulfilling that role in today's day and age but unlike pharaoh who was an example of this very last victory this last exodus esau is the ultimate enemy man that's why we about to see the ultimate victory which is going to come with the darkest and terrible times that we've had to encounter and endure man but now the elect we've been given that blessing of the heavenly father man you see been given this proper foundation to endure and overcome it so lord will we keep the same energy until the coming of our king man let's see this is uh verse 14 good is set against evil life against death so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly so look upon the works of the most high and they're all two and two one against another so you see the Heavenly Father created all things, man. Up and down, left and right. Good, evil, hot, cold. Jacob and Esau. This is his will, man. <laughs> if it wasn't, then why did he let... Why did he let... Uh, uh, if the Heavenly Father wanted unity... New he, text message from... It's lucky. If the Heavenly Father wanted unity, man, he would let the... Uh, he would let the uh, uh, Tower of Babel be built, man. Really, we could have just opened it up, said that, proved that point, and closed the lesson right then and there, man. The Heavenly Father is about separation. That's what he's coming back to establish, man. Order on the planet Earth. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. All praises, honor, and glory once more be into Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors into the elders and the apostles at GMS, Grand Millstone. Peace, love, blessings, salutations, under the lake, Shalom.